What is going on, Trash Talkers? We're back with another episode for you. In today's video, we're going to be talking about players on the roster bubble for each team in the AFC North. All that and much more coming your way right now! All right, Nick, with training camp fully underway and preseason games already have begun, we have to take a look at some of these rosters and take a look at some players that may not be on the roster for that much longer. And we're going to start with the AFC North today. We're going to talk about the Steelers, the Ravens, the Browns, and the Bengals. I believe that they have some key players that might be on the roster bubble, and I'm really interested to hear your thoughts and give my own about some of these players. So let's start with the Pittsburgh Steelers and starting off with the players James Washington and Cassius Marsh. I'm hearing that these guys might be on the roster bubble what are your thoughts yeah James Washington he's a guy that's requested a trade because he feels like he's not being utilized up to his potential and he's falling down on the depth chart with all the big names that the Steelers have gotten the last few years at wide receiver they are absolutely loaded at the position the guy at James Washington's talents he doesn't look like he is long for this team it looks like he wants to be somewhere else and with his position on depth chart I don't see him on this team much longer and then Cassius Marsh after the addition of Melvin Ingram. Well, Cassius Marsh's position becomes a little bit more deep and it's harder for him to keep his position. A guy of his veteran status, Cassius Marsh could find himself on the outside looking in at the end of training camp. Absolutely. I think both of those players have a lot of work potentially ahead of them. And I think that James Washington might actually get a trade, but he may not like where he goes. So be careful what you wish for. All right, moving on to the Cincinnati Bengals, we have players like center Billy Price, safety Kevon Frazier, and cornerback Darius Phillips. Specifically, I'm looking at Billy Price, the center here. He was a high draft pick for the Bengals just a couple of years ago, and at this point, the Bengals are pretty much fed up with him. He's not even working with the first-team offense. He's working with the second-team offense, and he just doesn't look like he is up to the task in the NFL. I don't know if it's the offensive line coaching. I don't know if he doesn't mesh with their system. I don't know if he can't get on the same page with Joe Burrow. Either way, Billy Price is a major name to look out for because there's plenty of teams, and I can think of just a couple off the top of my head, that could really use an interior offensive lineman, specifically a center, to really boost their offensive line. Look for Billy Price to be a major name that could end up being cut from the Bengals. For the Cleveland Browns, they've got such a stacked roster that there's going to be a ton of surprises that we see miss this roster cut. And Curtis Weaver, MJ Stewart, and Mac Wilson are three names you should be looking out for. And I think the most surprising is Mac Wilson. And I think that just goes to show you how deep linebacking core for the Browns has gotten over the last year. They've added so many big pieces, and Mac Wilson was a big piece for them last year. But he doesn't look like he has a starting job. And Mac Wilson is one guy I will definitely be looking out for. Absolutely. Mac Wilson is one of those guys that comes from the Alabama Crimson Tide. He's one of those guys that has a long history of winning and, and really hard coaching. So I, I'm sure there's plenty of coaches out there that would love to get their hands on a linebacker with a lot of potential still. Uh, and then moving forward, we have the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens are in a unique position because they added a lot of depth at the wide receiver position. So you see players like Miles My Boykin being put on the roster bubble, potentially in line for a cut. And then you also have players like Devontae Harris, a cornerback and special teamer who, you know, he's on the fringe of the roster as it is. And with the additions that the Ravens made, both through free agency and the draft this year, he could be on the outside looking in. But I want to take a look at Miles Boykin. Miles Boykin is one of those guys that had a lot of promise coming up through the collegiate ranks and then all of a sudden when he hit the NFL specifically with the Baltimore Ravens it just seems like he just vanished his skill set was not utilized properly and honestly he's a redundancy to what Hollywood Brown is for the Baltimore Ravens now with Rashad Bateman there they also have Sammy Watkins uh, along with Hollywood Brown I believe that this is going to be one hell of a wide receiving core Miles Boykin is going to be one of those guys that is looking for a job after it's all said and done 
All right, well, I want to hear from you guys. Let us know from these four teams which players you think will be on the outside looking in, which players we should expect to be cut, even players that we didn't talk about. I want to hear from you guys, so let, let us know in the comments down below. I always love to hear from the trash talkers. All right, well, that's going to be all for now. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. We go live every single day. That'll be all. Peace and love.